a very good morning to all of you we have already learned about the internal organs of our body so let's learn about the skeleton system and its vital role the skeletal system this is the framework and foundation of our body it is made up of 206 bones of different shapes and sizes the skeletal system consists of mainly the skull the spine or backbone and the ribs functions of the skeletal system the skeleton is the internal framework of the body it gives shape and support to the body like a window frame without the skeleton the body would be a shapeless heap of flesh which would not move like a hanger gives shape to a crumpled shirt the skeleton keeps the organs in their place in the body it protects the delicate internal organs the skull protects the brain the ribs protect the heart and the lungs the spine or backbone protects the spinal cord it helps to move parts of the body the place where two bones meet is called a joint the joints allow us to bend turn and move different parts of the body there are four types of joints in our body ball and socket joint pivot joint hinge joint and gliding joint ball and socket joint it is a type of joint in which the ball shaped surface of one rounded bone fits into the cup like depression of another bone this type of joint is found in the shoulder and hip it allows rotary motion in every direction with certain limits the use of ball and socket joint is seen in the game of cricket when a bowler throws a ball to the batsman to hit his arm moves in a circular manner pivot joint the head can turn from side to side because of the pivot joint between the first and the second neck vertebra hinge joint a hinge joint is a type of joint that serves to allow movement primarily in one plane or direction for example we find hinges in doors and windows which allow their movement in one direction only hinge joints are found in the elbow and knee gliding joints wrist and ankle gliding joints occur between the surfaces of two flat bones that are held together by ligaments some of the bones in your wrists and ankles glide against each other but have limited range of motion it forms blood cells bone marrow is the connective tissue inside a bone where blood cell formation takes place red blood cells transport oxygen to tissues and remove carbon dioxide white blood cells play a role in the immune system to fight off germs and recover from infection platelets are responsible for clotting your blood when a vessel ruptures and controls bleeding so keeping in mind the importance of skeletal system we need to eat food rich in calcium and vitamin d to keep 
our bones healthy and strong. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.